Ethernet is a system by which devices can exchange data on a local area network. Data is broken into small packets by the sending computer and then these are transmitted individually. The size of an Ethernet packet can be between 64 and about 1500 bytes. Each Ethernet packet includes the source and destination MAC addresses as well as the actual data being transmitted which is known as the payload. Each packet contains other information as well, for example information to check that it's been transmitted correctly without any corruption. It's convenient to think of a stream of packets on the cable, rather like sticks floating on a river. But this isn't quite true. In reality, each packet is a burst of high and low voltages, which represent the ones and zeros of binary encoded data. The sending computer's network interface card is responsible for generating these rapid pulses of electricity. When a computer transmits a packet, it's actually broadcasting the packet on the network. So every other computer can see the packet, but only the intended recipient, the one with the correct destination MAC address, chooses not to ignore it. At any instant in time, a cable either has a voltage across it, meaning a 1, or it doesn't, meaning a zero. And it's in the nature of electricity that there can only be one voltage across a wire at a time. Since each packet must be transmitted in its entirety without interruption, only one computer can transmit a packet at a time. So, if at exactly the same instant two computers attempt to transmit a packet, there'll be a collision and both packets will fail. Each computer must then wait a random amount of time, only a tiny fraction of a second, the so-called back-off delay, before attempting to transmit the failed packet again. But packet collisions are common, especially on a busy LAN with lots of workstations. The system for dealing with packet collisions is known as Carrier Sense Multiple Access with Collision Detection, and, fortunately, it happens very quickly. A typical Ethernet can carry up to 10 gigabits per second. That's a lot of packets. In summary, Ethernet is the most common local area networking technology in which computers exchange packets of data. Ethernet is controlled by the network interface card on each computer. Data is broken into packets on the sending computer and each packet contains the intended recipient's MAC address. It also contains the sender's MAC address. Packets are broadcast on the LAN, one after another, and then reassembled on the recipient computer. Only one device can broadcast a packet at a time. So, collisions between packets mean that many of them fail to transmit and need to be broadcast again. The scheme is known as Carrier Sense Multiple Access with Collision Detection. Carrier Sense Multiple Access with Collision Avoidance is another way to do this. A workstation will wait until it senses that the carrier is idle. This is particularly important for wireless networks. The type of cable and the number of active machines on the LAN govern the speed of data transmission. Typically, this is 10 gigabits per second with Category 6 UTP cable.